something that's different because in most cultures in most cultures there are no female gods everybody's male in African culture in most in most African cultures there's always a male deity or God and there is a female who knows who this is yes first hand Isis Isis Isis. But Isis is what language is Isis? Greek. Right, Greek. But well, what's the language of metal nature? Her name? Aset. Very good. Give her a hand. Okay. See, and these are the, and these, and this is the family. That's the father, that's the mother, and that's the son, right? That's very good. Father, mother, and son. It's very rarely you have, have a father and a son and no mother. That's kind of strange, ain't it? I believe we get in. And out. Are we in? And out. Other side. Look, I'm sitting. If you like this, you'll never get the power. And I guarantee you, you won't be 64 doing the Lord's head thing. Okay? Close one nostril. Other hand now. Look, I'm sitting straight. I'm breathing with one nostril. In. And out. In. And out. In. And out, in, and out. Both hands down, just relax. Your hands on the first move, your hands on the first move. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. no, don't try it. Don't, don't try, try it yet. <laughs> oh. Say sabah. Sabah. Again, sabah. 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 Because sabah means teacher and sabah means student. Mm. Sabah means teacher and sabah means student. Why? Why do you think so? Why would your ancient Kemetic ancestors use the same word for teacher and the same word for student? Why would they do that? Aaron? Right. In other words, a good teacher has got to be a good student. Otherwise, How'd you become a teacher <laughs> if you weren't a good student? And a good student should be a good teacher. Because what do you got to do at home by yourself after you learn something? You got to do what to yourself? You got to teach yourself. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget this. That's geometry. This is geometry. And trigonometry. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. They call it Pythagoras theorem. And that's a lie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't offend anybody. No, you didn't. But that's a lie. That is theorem. No. It got it from us. We taught them. It's the arc law, the law of life, that a squared father and a squared mother will give you a squared child. Okay? Calculus, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, which is 
a set, a sar. Uh, oh, how do we do Basically, I learned things in Medvedic. What did you think? Oh, okay. So oh. Not, well, I learned that what, who Africa was named after. I really didn't know that. The day was just mind blowing for me to see. Um, saw graphing. We saw uh, uh, use, the use of tai chi, the use of yoga to reinforce scientific concepts um, that we are trying to teach and had never considered using that medium, and uh, it reinforced concepts for me. So I am just, I was just thrilled with the day. And um, I believe that the children have gained a lot from what has been taught today, as well as I. And I hope to see them implement and use those ideas, um, you know, through while they're in their math class and in their science classes. Um, it's a holistic learning experience that our children definitely benefit from. We called it Kemet. They called it Egypt. If you're not listening, that means you're not learning. Free my people, free them now. Between us, we got the key. I love everybody. 